So we saved that Revit file as lesson one. Let's look a little more closely at the evidence, site information. The other images that we have here are page one, cool. This is telling us about the first floor. What this is telling us, it repeats what we already know, where the stairs and elevate. We're looking at it up upside down. I'm assuming you can rotate this in your head. Um, we have stairs, stairs, elevators, elevators where they are. So, but this now is explaining the ground floor. Um, what I'd like to do with this is open this in Illustrator so that I can draw on it and explain what's going on one hour, two hours, etc., etc. So I'm going to start Illustrator, which is going to slow this computer to a crawl, but that's how the VDI works now. When that loads, we're going to place the image. Loaded. Yes, we're glad you're here. We're proud of you. Uh, create a new uh, for print. Let's just default to uh, 36 inches by 24 inches. And I'm going to place The images are in my documents, so uh, should be. Let's sort by type so we can find it. There it is, page one. I might be able to work with it uh, like this. Okay. Um, I'm going to draw in red. Actually, um, I'm going to use this stroke to draw. So whatever shapes we draw are going to be empty. And let's set our stroke uh, windows uh, to something thick that we can we can see. Let's make it six point. So now we're drawing red boxes. We use a rectangle to zoom in a bit. Well, let's draw lines because this isn't exactly orthogonal to... Okay, so... Oops. There's my line segment. I'm identifying... Oops.
my two hour enclosures. One of them is a stair. That one's an elevator. Right, stair, elevator. Now let's talk about what's going on here. There's a large stair that's open to above. All this space is open to above. What is going on here is that this entire lobby area through to the exit discharge is a two-hour system. I'm drawing very coarsely here so I don't my lines don't intersect. So everything in here up to the point where it opens to the floor above. Ceiling Probably through to both sides. So where are my exits? Let's draw the word exit. Those two are exit. That whole area is enclosed in two hour construction. The stair uh, goes up I lost uh, my stroke. In that direction, right? I, I've gone past it here. Illustrator is a little difficult to control. I'm taking those things and just moving, right? Well, actually, stair begins going up here. So, what can we do with this information? We can use it to draw an area plan for the first floor. So I can use this image that I have uh, pasted into Illustrator here, right, and bring it into Revit. Say I wanted to draw a fire separation plan. Let's uh, tell Revit that we want a new area plan. Doesn't matter what we choose, we're going to modify the um, boundaries. 
So there's an area plan that I just created. And into this, I want to insert the uh, that image. Let's get it from my um, remote list of that one. I need to rotate it. 180. It's not quite orthogonal. Uh, could do this in SketchUp as well. The same idea you create underlays. Let's create a detail line to measure the amount that you need to rotate this. So 178 degrees is a line that explains the front. 178 minus 180. Uh, two degrees. It's very slight, right? So if we take this and rotate it like this way, two degrees, Right. And then remember we said what was the length along two hundred thirty five feet. Let's go back to our area plan. And I'm gonna scale this image from here to there is 235. And now it's the right size and I move it I'm just going to nudge it in place for now. It isn't a vector graphic drawing so it's going to be approximate, but that's that's pretty good. I mean, that's a, that's a fairly good representation. So now I'm going to repeat in an area plan. What I started to draw in the Illustrator file. Right. Well, I'm going to do it a little more carefully in this. Um, Revit area plan. So let's start by drawing area boundary. Very simple. Area boundary around a two hour enclosure and label it so. So um, architecture area boundary. Use the line tool. Now because I've already drawn the walls, this drawing doesn't quite line up. Let, let me let me take this image and move it approximately to where the columns intersect. Okay, so we're slightly off with according to this drawing with that stair, but these drawings aren't necessarily precise, so. I'm going to draw an area boundary line around my stairwell. That's one two hour enclosure. Then there's a stairwell over here. I'm going to enclose that. Notice I'm drawing over my walls. Let's do a couple more. Let's do the elevator bay. It's okay. I highlighted lines and then just draw around the enclosures I already drew. 
I'm going to avoid the center area for now. Uh, there's another elevator location. I have walls here already, so this is... And one, two. I think I've identified them all. Architecture, now let's create the areas. There's an enclosure. That's a two-hour stair area. There's a two-hour elevator. Two-hour enclosure. Two-hour enclosure. Let's add an explanatory uh, color fill legend and modify that legend. I'm not going to worry about the color it's, it's assigning by default. I'm going to select the area and say when the area changes name, we'll give it a different color. Um, let's add one more area. Let's say we wanted a corridor that connected these two stairwells. I'm going to architecture, area boundary, and draw it using a rectangle tool. That'll do. They overlap a little bit, but that's cool. And area, and select that. I'm going to call this one hour corridor and stairwell two hour stair two hour elevator the shaft itself is two hour so technically all these spaces are alike two hour stair You have to, t um, Revit is case sensitive to our elevator. One hour call it a two hour stair, two hour elevator. Let's go to our legend, edit it, and we, we want one hour corridor to be orange, and the two hour areas we want to be red. So there, provisionally, that's explaining, uh, you know, the vertical enclosures in the building are one, two-hour rated, a, a one-hour corridor that connects them, right? And the, the stairwells ought to lead to an exit discharge. There's probably a, a, a need, an exit door on the opposite side of that stairwell. A very special thing happens in the middle that we have to describe, and we'll talk about that in the next lesson.